what's up everybody Chris with South Carolina Gun School just wanted to uh, talk to you today about everyday carry knives I've done a video uh, kind of uh, some concealed carry videos done one concealed carry different types of holsters uh, concealed carry and kind of my, my personal everyday carry uh, it's not something that everyone carries every day everybody's gonna have something different uh, but I just wanted to uh, talk to you a minute today about some of the different knives that I have that I use uh, for an everyday carry all except for one uh, but I've got it laid out here because some people that might be the only option they have I uh, just wanted to go over uh, I'll start with kind of my personal favorite that I've moved more to and it is the uh, Browning Black Label Vanquish uh, you see we've got the little finger hole here and all of these that I'm going to be showing you are a, a linear lock which means the lock is right here in the middle and not back on the back like some of the other pocket knives uh, but you see once it's closed up you've got the little notch there and what that is this is going to be in your pocket also sorry the clip is reversible so if you want to go to the other side if you need to carry left-handed uh, you do have that option as well uh, but what this is, is you'll have it in your pocket like this when you go to pull it out you'll make sure your fingers are out of out of the way and you'll pull it out of your pocket kind of almost coming up and out and this right here this little notch is going to catch and pretty much spring it right open and it's also good if you just need to take it out of your pocket just to kind of have it in your hand ready to go if you've got a hammer fist somebody that little notch is going to do some damage and then you've also got a little support uh, for your thumb that folds right out see it just kind of lines right in with the finger loop this isn't something that I have out all the time but it just a little more support for your thumb so when it's open and it's also got the little knot so you can open it with your thumb but as you can see just going to give you a little bit more force behind it when you go to stab someone um, also you'll be able to slash as well me it's that way you can get it out if you've got a stab you can stab uh, but it's a uh, two and three quarter inch blade and it is the browning black label vanquish all the knives that i'm going to be showing i'll have listed in the comments below with uh, some links so everybody can look at the specs on them this is a, a very light knife not anything heavy uh, to carry so again browning black label vanquish kind of my personal favorite good little finger loop get damage done uh, the next one is something that I was carrying before I found the Browning Black Label Vanquish it is the uh, Kershaw it's the 6040 CQC8 that's 6040 CQC8 uh, usually what I tell people when they ask me about it is this Kershaw CQC8 if you search that but again like I said I'll have all the links down so everybody can look at some of the specs on them and everything I'm sorry I'm not gonna sit and go over all the specs I don't think I need to bore y'all with that I'll let everybody go and look at it this is gonna be similar to uh, the Browning black label except it's got the little Emerson wave uh, if you know knives you know what the Emerson wave is what it does uh, just like with the Browning black label your clip reversible can go on either side but this is gonna sit down in your pocket um, and now it doesn't have the finger hook like the Browning Black Label or some of the Fox style Karambit knives. So when you go to deploy it, it's in your hand and ready to go. Um, just kind of pinch it there on the side. When you come up, you're not going to, you can go out, kind of up and out like you with the Browning Black Label. But with this, you can kind of just turn it as well as long as it just catches. Another good thing about it, if you've already got it deployed, you can drop it back, catch it on a shirt, jacket, pocket. Um, jacket pants anything and it's going to deploy this little hook or Emerson wave as they call it uh, will catch on the clothes and automatically just come out into position uh, it's got a good feel in the hand uh, it's got the Tonto style tip this is the Browning black label I apologize it's the drop point I'm a little bit bigger fan of the Tonto but as far as the deployment, I like the Browning Black Label. That's why I've moved a little bit more to it for an everyday carry. I will still carry the Kershaw. Um, 
good feel in the hands, quick deployment, linear lock. I'll have it linked in below so everybody can take a look at it. And if you don't want to catch it, it's got you know a good size notch here for you to use your thumb and open it up if you've got to get it open. The next is a Kershaw uh, 1560, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, 1560. And this is a spring assisted. So all you're going to do is just, and right out it goes. Uh, the clip is not reversible. It's only on the one side there. So if it's going to be in the left pocket, you'll have it like this. And then you've got to come more with your finger to open it. Uh, I would say this is more of a right-handed person's knife. So you, when you come up and out, it's in the hand. Spring it up and you're ready to go. It's got a good feel in the hand. Again, I'll have everything linked in so you can look at all the specs. But just real quick, up and ready to go just like that. Uh, the next one is a 511 BTC Recurve Tonto. Uh, the BTC stands for Born to Cut. And I'm not talking about B-O-R-N. It's B-O-U-R-N-E, like Jason Bourne. So I don't know if that's where this came from. Um, but again, Recurve Tonto. That's the blade style. I, I like Recurve and Tontos. A um, little bit more a fan of the Tonto. But again, this is a linear lock. You've got a nice little hole uh, for the thumb there to open it up. This is something I carry more if I've got gym shorts on. Uh, it's not a very heavy knife and it's still going to be able to do damage if I've got to take it out and use it. Uh, the next one is the uh, Sunblades uh, Karambit style. I'll be honest, the only reason I got this is I think it just looks pretty badass. Um, it is a uh, single side. It's not uh, reversible with the uh, clip. It's linear lock and then spring assistance. So you've got your thumb there if you push on it. And you've also got the little finger here. Pull it open. You can kind of see the difference in the size on the finger holes. So this is another reason I really like this. I've got big hands, fat fingers, so you can see I can't really go that far in. I can get it, but I, it's not comfortable in my hand. Um, I thought the finger hole, it looked a little bigger on the website. Um, but as you can see, I can't get this far in. Now the pinky, I can get it a lot in. It feels a lot better in my hand but still not like what the browning I mean you can see I can go all the way in on the finger compared to that's as far as I'm getting with the uh, Sunblades Karambit so I, I really got it again because it looked badass it is a very heavy knife uh, it's, and if it's like I said if it's the only thing you've got an option for carrying by all means carry it is still going to do damage uh, th but again this is more going to be slashing the browning black label is going to be more stabbing and, and this is something like I said I don't really recommend carrying unless you train with it and train with it I mean by go to somebody that can teach you the proper way to use this thing I'll be honest I can't teach you that I don't know I need more training with something like this before I actually start carrying it um, more than what I do with the browning black label like I said the browning black label is pretty much my everyday carry unless I've got Gym shorts on headed to the gym is going to be the uh, 511 BTC uh, recurve Tonto. But I just wanted to show just the different options that are out there. Um, it's got a real good feel if I don't put my finger uh, through the little loop there. It's got a real good feel to it in the hands. Like I said, it's, it is a little heavy, so you'll, you'll know you're carrying this thing. The next one is. Um, something you might not be able to use for an everyday carry depending on what state you live in so before you do start carrying knives as an everyday carry please go and look at what your knife laws are for your state they are going to be different it's not going to be like carrying a gun uh, for South Carolina it's recently I shouldn't say recently they have changed it to where before I think it was anything over two and a half inch blade was considered a uh, weapon uh, we're not I'm not going to get into the definition of weapon and and all that like you know with the NRA they don't like you to say weapon when you're doing some of their gun classes but that's you know part of their training protocol nothing against that um, a weapon is a weapon just make sure you know your knife laws for your state before you start carrying the next one is going to be the SE4 
Um, anybody that knows knives should know SE knives. Uh, very great quality knife. It's got a real good feel in the hand. Um, this is something that, like I said, I do everyday carry. It comes with the sheet, clips in. You see this thing is not going anywhere once it clips in. It's got the belt clip. Um, this is, it comes out, it's got little screws here. So you can change the clip side. If you want to carry it on a pack, say if you're going hiking, uh, camping, you want a good quality knife, I would recommend taking something like this. Now, there's different options out there um, besides the SE knives that are very good quality knife. I've just always been a uh, fan of the SE knives. It's, again, the SE4. Like I said, I'll have everything linked in in the comments. But this is something that, um, as far as the state of South Carolina where I'm at, you can either open carry or conceal carry. Um, they don't have a limit as far as blade length or anything like that. Now, a sword is not a knife. A hatchet is not a knife. A machete is not a knife. We're talking about knives. Uh, let's, so let's all use some common sense on this. Uh, don't be dicks about it because that's just going to get you in trouble. But this is something that I will uh, carry. Like I said, it's not my everyday carry. But you can see some of the knives that I use for an everyday carry. This has been now my everyday carry. The Browning Black Label, unless I'm wearing gym shorts. And then it's the 511 BTC Recurve Tonto. These pretty much are my go-to every day depending on what I'm wearing. The others, uh, just I might carry uh, this one a little bit more uh, than the older Kershaw. Just, again, I like the quick deployment. I like the Emerson Wave. So this, though, I love this knife. This is just a great, great knife. It's got a great feel. It's already got a little wear and tear on it, but that's what these knives are for. These knives are made to be used, so everyday carry, hiking, camping, hunting, whatever it might be, I would recommend an SE knife. No, I haven't gotten any of these knives. Uh, I'm not sponsored by anyone, uh, but uh, hey, if you want to, reach out to me. I'll be glad to uh, do some more demos for you, but these are just some of the options you have for an everyday carry knife, uh, especially if you're someone that just you're not comfortable or ready to carry a gun, at least keep a knife on you uh, just to have some type of protection. Uh, no, you don't want to bring a knife to a gunfight. So if somebody comes up and is holding you at gunpoint, you have to be um, pretty close to really do some damage with a knife. But still, there's things that can happen to you without it being a gun. So having a knife is not a bad thing. It's, you see the different options that are out there as far as the state of South Carolina. Any of these you can open carry or conceal carry. Uh, this is still a good knife to fit down into a purse for the ladies. And it's not heavy. I'll be honest, this thing right here is heavier than this. And you see the size difference. But this you're going to be able to really do some damage with it just like with any of these. Uh, another thing I would uh, recommend, I, I don't know if, if I should even do this, but if you ever do have to use a knife in a self-defense situation, when you go to stab, stab, and turn, all right, that's going to only do more damage. It's going to slow them down a lot more than just stabbing, all right? Make sure you stab and turn. Twist that thing, all right? And don't stab and take off and leave it. You still might need this. But these are some options for everyday carry knives. Like I said, I'll have everything linked in at the bottom. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I want to thank everybody for the uh, support. I want to thank everybody that subscribed so far. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button uh, before you go. Because we're going to have other great videos coming out. I'm going to talk about some everyday carry guns, just some different options that are out there outside of you know what I personally carry uh, for my everyday carry. And always remember, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.